Hello, I'm Chelsea Welby. And I'm Jessica Flores. And we are here to talk to you about our market, which is called It's a Wonderful Market. Yes. This year we're doing our market virtually, and we have a great selection of some of our past vendors that you may have met at Coppice Commons, and they are going to showcase their, um, their products to you on their selling platforms. And we've collected them into um, one great new website for It's a Wonderful Market, and that has launched today. So right now, you can go over and visit itsawonderfulmarket.com and see all of our wonderful vendors on there and access their shopping platforms. Uh, some have Etsy, some have their own websites. A good selection of them are selling right through Facebook. Um, so if you're watching on Facebook, you should be comfortable with that. Uh, so today's um, goal is to just show you a little bit more about their products. So we have a plethora of them with us today. What would you like to start with? Let's start with these beautiful little plants here. These are potted and grown by Renee Campbell. She's actually an event planner and she does um, artful potting of plants. Um, she makes these lovely little sachets too. These smell like, they, they're a little bit lavendery. Mm -hmm. What else? What do you think? I smell lavender. Mostly lavender. But they're so sweet to put in a, a lingerie drawer or even in a, a little gift bag. Fun little gifts with um, pretty different patterns on there. Um, so this is another one of her planters here, a little teacup. Um, she does a great job of making beautiful little medleys of different types of succulents. That's one of her planters back there too. Look at that pretty copper color. Um, this one has little miniature moss in it and all kinds of different pebbles. It's almost like a fairy garden without the fairies in it. They're beautifully done. Um, so the other thing she does is she paints furniture, right? which just oh, is yeah. sitting in it. Sitting on a beautiful desk. A it. It's got a pretty gray stain on it, an old school desk. And this set of two tables is hers as well that she did. Would you say that's chalk paint? Um, I don't know. Probably. Sure. It's a little bit distressed yeah. and they nest together. One can push all the way in or out, depending on how many cups of coffee you have for the day. How many you need. Pretty little legs yes. on there. So cute. Okay, so I believe Renee will be selling through her Facebook page and she's creating a special event. So when you get to her Facebook page, look for the event and inside that event you can interact with her, see all of the um, specific posts of the items she has for sale. Um, our market runs from November 19th through December 3rd. That's when all of the um, artists are offering specials and um, really stocking up their shops, putting new stuff out possibly every day. So remember that November 9th through, November 19th through December 3rd. So look for Renee Campbell. Uh, I believe she's listed under our et cetera events on our website. Um, so look for her beautiful planters there. Uh, next we have, yes, Mary Vogel from Marigolds. She used to have a shop in South Bend. She has been collecting and um, dealing in antiques for quite a few years. And she <laughs> finds all these adorable little found vintage items and makes these little vignettes from them. This is a mason jar or ball jar lid. And inside are a tiny a deer and a bottle brush tree. These are old spice tins, as you can see. and. Um, she just has a huge collection of Christmas mm -hmm. objects, um, more than anything. So we're so excited to have her back and every single piece is one of a kind. Um, I think that yep, that's wraps what Mary mean. up. So Marigolds, look for her on the website. It's a wonderful market .com. What else? So Ingrid? Oh yes. Ingrid Schilling is the artist also. behind Libby Candles. She makes um, these hand poured soy candles. They are all they natural amazing. and they do smell amazing. They're, they're so different. What do you have? Uh, this one is fresh baked apple pie. Okay, that's gonna be a favorite. Uh, backwood pine, which is what we burn at our house. Oh. And those are melts. Yes, these right? are melts. This is a, I don't know. 
what the size is on this, but chestnuts and brown sugar. That's beautiful. Yep. Um, this is probably one of her larger ones, frankincense and myrrh. I love that mm -hmm. one just because I'm not much of a, um, I'm not much of a berries and fruit type of person. I love the more masculine spicy scents. That one is great for that. Mm -hmm. uh, this is spiced cranberry. Those are both great Christmas fragrances. And That's a very classic I was Christmas. Say, you can see the size difference between these right, two. Right, right. Does it say? It doesn't say on them, does it? It doesn't say the size, but um, Ingrid has a brand new website that she is launching kind of in tandem with ours about the same time. So Libby Candle Company, I'm not sure exactly what the website is, but it is on the web on our website. So it's a wonderful market.com. Look for Libby Candle Company. She's a um, beautiful person. We're sad that we can't see her in person this year, um, along with many of our other vendors, but great candles, really unique scents. You know what, let's do one of these over here. And okay. then we can come back. Yeah, go to... ahead and grab from. Oh. We have a whole stockpile oh, on the goodness. other end of the room. All right. Let's okay. Start with this this is it. Poppies and Peanuts, right? Mm -hmm. Deb Julian from Napanee. She has such a fun collection of vintage items. So the little pillow you saw was a combination of her sewing and her sewing skills. That's actually the sewing lane. Oh, this is? So we, we can stick with this. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. um, well, but Okay, we're switching on you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <That's okay. laughs> the sewing lane is Trisha Lechleitner, right? Yep. And she, you probably have seen her masks all around town by now. I have a couple of them. I walked into the um, coffee shop the other day and my barista was wearing one of them. They're super comfortable and she's got a ton of different fabrics to choose from. Um, these are called cuddle blankets, so deluxe cute. cuddle blankets. Um, they range from $14 to $18. They have a little wooden teething ring on the end. You can take that off or you can snap it back on. They have that really super soft minky on the back. Such cute fabrics for oh, girls ribbons. and boys. Oh, taggies too. Yep. My daughter always loved those. She's got a lot of products in here. Lots of baby items. Oh, these are pocket bibs. And look how cute. They're not, the, they're laminated cotton, but they're not like that really stiff oil cloth that's just not super comfy right. for a baby. Oh, and that's really, look how the pocket unbuttons un for clean easier it? cleaning. Yeah. yeah, you don't have those little nooks and crannies like some of those other cheap ones. Yep, so she does have regular bibs too then. Okay. Uh, let's see, what else do we have in here? A little, is it a changing pad? It's a burp cloth with wings. <laughs> it's got some of that gauzy cotton on it too. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's see what, yeah, it's a burp cloth. Oh, it's made with organic Gerber cloth diapers. And they're 100% cool. cotton one. for those concerned about all natural. Those are nice. Pretty, pretty. Oh, there's cool. some, like those bandana bibs in yep. there. Yes. Let's grab those. For little boys especially Hello. cute. Four layers of gauze or muslin in loosely woven cotton. Two snaps on each side to oh, adjust sorry. to three different neck sizes. Check that out. Pretty fancy. Yeah. Seems to see if it fits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so All right. she's got some fun little features built into those things for the savvy mama. Yes, she does. Okay. What else so, we got? How about some pottery? pottery. Yeah. This is um, Brandon Schwartz. He goes by Fuzzy. So Art by Fuzzy on Etsy. Uh, we'll be listing his shop on the website, of course, too. And um, he's going to be giving away a free gift with, uh, with your purchase on Etsy. So what you need to do for his shop is... Etsy doesn't create a code for three free gifts. So when you purchase, there's a spot where you can put a note to um, note to seller. And in there, put in the um, It's a Wonderful Market code, which you'll find on our website, IWM2020. Put that code into the note to seller and you'll get a discount. He's listed his discount on our website. Um, but these are uh, wheel thrown stoneware. This one has a map um, printed on it. This is, I think, like a transfer type of technique. It's got the whole vintage world map on it. Really cozy, lightweight, beautiful little thumb rest up here on the um, on the handle. Uh, what else? 
this is kind of a, yeah. a stein almost and that's beautiful ombre this glaze yeah. i don't know i'm sorry brandon i don't know what this kind of glaze and firing is called but oh, he's got a really cool little logo stamp down on there so he also has adorable little ornaments and magnets as well indiana so home. say home on them very cute we go back over here? Yeah, let's go back to the table. Get <laughs> some do, more let's stitchery. Do that now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is Poppies and Peanuts. Right. We were talking this about is... them before. Poppies yep. and Peanuts. We also have a Pigtails and Pollywogs. <laughs> I get those confused. Poppies and Peanuts by Deb Julian. These are Liberty of London fabrics. It's a uh, famous department store in London, England. That um, so is very... They make a really popular line of calicos and colorful fabrics. Um, so these are head bandanas. And I think you fold them in a triangle and then just kind of wrap like this. That's how I do it at least. And then I'm not gonna put it on my head, but you would put it all the way behind and then tie it up front for a cute little, almost like a Rosie the Riveter look, you know? Um, so she's got a couple of those displayed. I'm gonna talk about these. Yeah, your soup bowl cozies. They're kind of all the rage, but look what cute fabrics she has. So stylish. This feels like a flannel and it's got a gorgeous black stripe to it. So you put your, you know, you take your bowl right out of the microwave if you're heating something up and ouch, it's super hot. I, I did this last night and the bowl is hotter than the actual <laughs> soup inside. Right. And if you're like us and you don't sit down as a family to the table, instead you eat your meals in front of the TV. <laughs> These are great. <laughs> I'm Perfect. not condoning meals in front of the television, but we all do it. Don't we? <laughs> so those all are right. handy. Oh, these are all hers too. Yes, so she also has some kids clothes. Some littles clothes. These are, are those snowmobiles? Yes. yes. They're little like snowmobiles vintage. and trees. Nice little cuff on the bottom to keep the tootsies snuggly and a matching embroidered onesie. Yes. Oh, look at these. Oh, they're little reindeer. They're a little fabric that girls. she has. Those look like a good size four. This maybe. is size four or five. All right. Yep. So not just babies, but nope. And then she nice. has the amazing, yeah, the gauzy too. baby yep. blankets. The sizes are for nice. farmer kids. Pink oh, cool. cows on the other one. Oh, and some burp claws. Some burp claws that match. Uh huh. Cool. So you can get a whole set. Very cool. There's another little teether blanket on there. She's got the most fun vintage items too. She kind of specializes in really colorful, mid-century, playful type of vintage products. So you will be excited to shop on her um, outlets. She, Deb from Poppies and Peanuts is selling on all of her platforms um, November 19th through December 3rd. So be sure to check out her Facebook, her Instagram, and her Etsy shop. She's got a deal for you on the website um, through the Etsy shop, but wherever you're comfortable online, she has got a place for you. So all her links are on our website. Be sure to check that out. Let's do Brandy's next. Oh, okay. Brandy from the Rustic Pine makes these beautiful signs. She is just meticulous in her craftsmanship. She does a wonderful job. Kind of for the modern farmhouse, would you say? Yes. Okay, some great Christmas um, pieces especially. And they do have the nice, they have the ledge so it's easy to hang or yeah. they're thick enough for sitting. Correct. So, yes. Um, Brandy, I think, is selling on her Facebook page. You'll find a link on our website to that, and I think she has a deal for you, too. So look closely there. All right. Let's yeah, do... go ahead and pick something else. Oh, well, you want to do yours? Oh, yes. Why don't you do yours next? Hi, my name is Jessica Flores, and I'm an artist. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica Flores Design. Uh, I'm a watercolor artist and I also do some lino cut prints. This is one of my latest prints. I carve a little um, rubber block with some carving tools. You roll it with ink and then you print onto paper. This is my little brazing cow. I've got those in the shop right now. A seasonal four pack that has four different um, illustrations for each season. And they have a little wooden hanger that comes with them. These are my so little um, winter things. Oh, look at that cat. Note cards. Here's a bigger print that matches oh, it. 
Um, I have boxed Christmas cards and a new, these are going fast. I have, it's a scripture, little mini scripture. Yeah, I'll on. let you do that. Uh, calendar. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know how many of those I'll have left for you, but if you jump on it real quick, I'm offering 20% off of a $20 purchase um, in my Etsy shop. And if you spend $35, you get free shipping too. Check that out. That'll be on the website. All right. Something else? Yeah, let's do Lindsay's. Okay. Is that Lindsay's? This yes. is South Olive Studio. Lindsay is a prolific knitter and crocheter. Uh, I think she mainly started with crochet items, but she's been knitting a lot lately. These head wraps, they're extra chunky, so they're almost mm -hmm. like a turban. And of course, her adorable little uh, merchandising here shows that they're great with buns. Oops. Those are made on a knitting machine, um, but they're such fun patterns. I love how those cross over. Um, in the front with her adorable little um, tags. She makes Those are new. Yes, her new tags. Yes. Those snap on with her logo. Yep. These beautiful, chunky, oh, I think this one's crocheted. Chunky crochet. No, it's, I can't tell. It looks like a combination of two. Um, Pom-poms. So soft. Super soft. Cool. Almost like rabbit fur. Yeah. Oh, all of her all of her yarns are super soft and cozy. And colors. Yeah. Beautiful colors. That one too. I love that two-tone. Yep. Something for everyone there. Yes. She's got just the cutest, like, preppy, cozy, classic style mm -hmm. of her work. Yep. All right, let's do Kathy. Okay, yes. Kathy Strang is another one of our potters this year. Mm -hmm. Kathy is a self-taught potter. And she has the most fun, whimsical style. This, um, I think she made these little birds. Check these it's things out. Like a little birdhouse to go. <laughs> of course, there's a birdhouse to go with it. She has pretty things for the garden and for inside your house. This little tray has the most beautiful embossed pattern on it. And some nice little feet on the bottom so it doesn't scratch your table. I might be snatching that one before any of you can get it. <laughs> we'll see. Cute little tree. Yeah. So when you talk to her about her work, she is just so full of like imagination and almost <laughs> childlike joy about the way she works. Um, she just really has fun in her studio, and she's uh, oh, talented, um, really creative potter. This little yes, pot we're gonna do a giveaway on this one at some point um, before our market is done. Tiny little succulent pot there. Nora's. Oh yeah, my daughter Nora is also a knitter. She's 15 years old and she has a website that she's built herself called um, Nora Grace Knits. This is one of her beanies. She mostly makes her own patterns and um, she's really into sustainable fashion. So she's working with washable wools right now. Um, so they're all natural, but they're easy care too. So this is one of her Cute, simple beanies. Um, she's got a lot of these headbands. Her color palette is really kind of um, muted and limited, um, but I just love her style. These cozy cup cozies are fun too for your super hot coffee on the go when you to go um, with your hot bowl of soup. To go with your hot bowl, <laughs> protecting the hands. Um, this is one of the. I'm gonna put this one on because it's mine. I made her sell this one to me. Now I gotta get the twist right, but they're so fun to just shove right over the top of your your dew and keep your ears warm. I cannot leave the house without this thing. Stretches just the right amount and it's so cozy. So those so work cute. well with buns or even if your hair is down. Um, Nora is offering 10% all across her website for the market and you don't need a code or anything. She's just gonna activate that for the duration of our um, show. She has one other little thing she wanted me to show you. Yeah. It's these tiny little baby booties. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, newborn baby booties. So cute. So, yeah. are, will those be available too? Yes, those are okay. available in her shop right now. So cute. Okay, mm. let's see. You wanna go Erin? Sure. We've just got a couple more yep. for you. This is 
Erin from Pigtails and Pollywog. Should we start with rotating rings and pasty yeah. clips? Okay, yeah. So this is the pasty clip. Can you show how that opens and oh, um, who makes them? Oh, maybe not. Not with everything in my hand. <laughs> there um, you go. There you go. So, and then clip it and just snaps you right back on. No pacifiers flying across the restaurant floor and <laughs> your car. Super cute little teethers. That one has a little camera. <laughs> oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even see that. For the photog so, mom. Cute. Um, There's shoot. some little clip-on bows. Big bows, little bows. For however much hair your baby has. <laughs> and some pretty headbands. Yes, beautiful. Different styles. Headbands. So, and this is new. Did she talk about this with you? Uh, not as, no, okay. not a lot. So this is something that her and her mom used to do and her mom has passed now. Mm -hmm. And so, um, she brought it back with her kids during the quarantine. So yeah. it's a keychain. Keychain. Right, it's got a little clip down it's here the, for, that's how you clip your keys yeah, on, right? Yeah, it's the clay. The polymer clay. Yep. Fun. So. She's got them in all different bright colors. I've seen them on her, um, her site. Yes. So lots to choose from there. She's pigtails and polywogs, and she'll be selling, I believe, Facebook or Etsy. I can't remember, but look for her on Facebook. their website. Okay. Very good. So, all right, let's do Dawn, and then we can finish with okay. Ellie. These are earrings made by Maury. Dawn makes these really lightweight, popular teardrop earrings that you probably know so well. All of her earrings are so lightweight. And they are so super affordable, and she's got a sale on all in stock earrings on her website as well. So you can buy a pair for every woman on your list and you know, still have the budget to buy yourself one. Okay. So lots of earrings there. She's got, oh, she does have an option to pick up um, locally. Most of these artists do, um, but on Dawn's specifically on her website, she has a pickup, it's called pick up in store, but it's actually at her house. So if you're local and you don't wanna pay shipping, choose pick up in store on Dawn's uh, website made by Maury. Ready? And let's finish up with Ellie. Yeah, this is Ellie. She's another one of our young entrepreneurs. She's about the age, about Nora's age, 16, mm. maybe 17. Um, she is a knitter and a crocheter. This is one of her beautiful scarves in this variegated colorway. Um, I like those long ones because you can wrap mm -hmm. them around a few times. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like the little kid on the Christmas story. So she is. Ooh, this is a velour head wrap, super soft and luxurious. She's got those in several different colors. Um, I think she's really known for her colorful collection of knitwear. This hat is adorable it's with so that. cute. <laughs> that will really cover your ears and keep you warm. Look at that fun pattern that of, it's almost mm -hmm. like lattice work around the bottom. Ooh, I don't know what's the best way to. <laughs> That's tricky. You put it right on your head. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay. So, so that gives you a good idea of, there's more, there's more than this on the website even. <laughs> so, there is, there is. So be sure you take a look at itsawonderfulmarket.com. Runs through December 3rd. It's live now. Um, offers from lots of the artists on the list. And anything else we want to say? If you have questions, you can always ask here on yeah. the Facebook page or yes. uh, Instagram. We have Instagram as well, as well as I believe that there's a spot that you can contact us through the actual website. Yes, too. we should have a contact, so, um, a contact button at the bottom of the front page of the website too. So, so let yes. us know if you have questions. Uh, it's best if you have questions about specific products to ask the um, ask the vendor themselves, but we're always here to help. So we thank you for shopping local, shopping small this year, and um, supporting us and our makers through this this year. It's a crazy time. Yeah, we hope you have a happy, <laughs> happy holiday. Yes, yes, thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.